Hi guys, it's Erica from Brains to Beauty and today I'm here to bring you a cut crease tutorial using my Stella in the Light. I know the last tutorial I did was a soft cut crease and this is very similar except it's definitely more obvious that it's a cut crease. This one I actually left it really intense and I know you guys if you haven't followed me on my social media you're probably like what just happened? Yes. I totally cut my hair. I am going to dye it all dark brown. I was just going to trim it and then color it, but I had so many dead and split ends. So I just said, we're just going to chop it off. We're going to start 2015 with a bang. And so this is what I ended up with. Um, I don't really know how to style it yet. I haven't figured it out. But anyway, let's get on to this tutorial. It is featuring three different lip colors. I do a nude, red, and plum for this. So if you guys are interested, let's get started before the intro gets way too long. Here I am using my Nika Beauty eyeshadow base. And as you guys can see, I've already done my brows using my brow bar to go. Next I'm going into the Still in the Light palette and grabbing this color Bare and I'm applying this to my brow bone as a highlight and this will help to blend later using a big fluffy crown brush. Now I'm going into the color Bliss and I'm applying this as a transition shade into my crease using my Bedellium Tools fluffy crease brush. It's equivalent to the Sigma E25. And now I'm going in with my Target Up and Up crease brush and I'm applying the color Sandstone to my crease as well. And here I'm just going to add this in layers. This is a pretty mild color so you do have to put in a lot. It's not really pigmented. But I'm making sure to blend this into my actual crease and then blend this out with the same brush I used earlier with Bliss. Not adding any more product. Now I'm going in with Barely Branded which is the color tattoo from Maybelline. And I'm going to apply this to my lid and this is what's really going to define our crease area. And here I'm using a Sonia Kashuk concealer brush and I'm just going in and defining the line to define where my lid is. As you can see my lid is actually bigger than where it actually folds. And then I'm going to fill all of this in with the color Kitten and this is using my Sigma E55 shading brush and I'm also putting this into my inner corner and just tapping this in to make sure it sticks to the lid. Now I'm going in with my Bedellium's Angled Liner brush and I am applying the Maybelline Eye Studio Gel Liner in Blackest Black and I'm just creating my typical wing. This is the same wing I do on almost every single look. Sometimes it's bigger, sometimes it's smaller. You know, liquid eyeliner and gel eyeliner, like wings are different every day. It's like so hard to get the same wing back to back. So just creating the line, creating the wing, tapping it together, and then I'm using some makeup remover and another liner brush, and I'm just cleaning underneath in case I got too wing happy. And then here I'm going into the color, which I think is Jupiter, I can't read that. And I'm applying it with a pointed crease brush, and this is also a Bedellium Tools brush, and as you can see, I'm following the line of the lid, and then I'm very gently flicking this out so that it, you don't have a super crazy weird harsh line there. It just looks like a really nice cut crease. And then very, very, very almost like barely touching, I'm blending out the edge so that it smokes out with the transition color. Beautiful. I love this brush. Now I'm curling my lashes with my Shiseido Lash Curler. Super easy. And I do plan on putting on a false lashes so I don't take too much time. And then here I'm using my Telescopic by L'Oreal and just applying this to my lashes. This is the Shucking Extensions Waterproof. Of course, upper and lower. Also, I apologize. If you guys can hear my dogs, they are sitting next to me as I'm doing this voiceover. They are snoring. Next, I'm going in with my NYX Angel Veil and I'm applying this as my primer for my face. I did apply a moisturizer prior to filming. And I just apply this everywhere where I have really big pores or wrinkles increasing, which is typically around my nose, under my eyes, around my mouth, you know, the huge. And then here I'm going in with my Vaseline Intensive Lip Care. I don't even know. It's like my best favorite lip balm and I always put it on before foundation 
which here I'm using my Revlon Nearly Naked and my Sigma Kabuki brush. I think it's the F80. Maybe it's the F82. I don't know. One's the rounded and one's the flat. This is the flat. I'm just putting that all over. And then I'm putting in my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer as a highlight and buffing that in with my e.l.f. Stippling brush. This is the mini stippling brush, the one that most people use for cream blushes. I love it for concealer. It's awesome. Anyway, yeah, so yeah. Next, I'm going on my BH Studio Pro Powder. This is in the shade 203. It's a nice porcelain shade. I use this to set the concealer under my eyes. And then I go in with the same powder except in the shade 230 and set everything else into place. Also, can you tell I'm going unscripted? on my voiceover today. Yeah, it's terrible. I don't like doing this. Next, I'm going into my Enter Pronoun Bronzer and I'm applying this under the cheekbone, to the temples, and under the chin area for the double chin happiness. And then I'm tapping this all off with my Hot Mama Blush by The Balm with my Crown Angled Brush. If I missed anything, all the products will be listed on my blog. My blog post normally goes up like a week, sometimes two weeks after the actual video goes up because the blog takes forever. Anyway, I went in and I lined my lower lash line. I don't even know what pencil I use, so I will figure it out and let you know. And then here, this is a mini crown smudger brush. So I touched up the inner corner and now I'm putting the lower corner under lower, what am I saying? The lower outer corner, God. By the way, I've been suffering from migraines, so my brain does not function. My bad. And here I'm just touching up my lower lash line because my mascara was not showing up. Ooh, next I'm going with these NYX lashes. I'll be totally honest, I didn't think they would be that great because I got them for 89 cents a piece. And they actually are really great. But here, I actually, I lost my contact. I didn't get it on film because I ended up like, lowering my head so much that you didn't see it, but it was epic. Anyway, so here I'm touching up my lash band with some more liner and just touching up my eyeliner. It's awesomeness. And here is the first lip color. It is a nude lip featuring my L'Oreal Caress lipstick and I can't remember, so it'll be down below. And I top this off with my Gerard Cosmetics lip gloss in nude. So that is the first lip. The second lip is actually this red lip, and in person it is very red, but on camera it looks like a red orange. And I'm just using this J Cat crayon, this lip crayon, and that is it. I didn't put a lip gloss on or anything, just like that. Super easy, and it's actually really pigmented. And then the last color is actually the color you saw in the intro, and this is a deep plum shade. It is a NYX lip butter. But for whatever reason, it shows up as a deep red on camera, but in person, it is straight up plum. Like, it is a plum color. So that is it for the tutorial. Let's go ahead and get into the giveaway. Okay, so that is it for the tutorial. I don't know if I kept it in, but I am actually filming blind in one eye because when I went to curl my lashes together, the falsies and the real ones, my contact fell out, so... It's bedtime, it's like almost 10.30. Oh no, it's 11 p.m. So I'm not gonna put in a new one. That being said, let's get on to the giveaway. Love this palette, this is what you guys are gonna be winning. And this palette actually comes with the smudge stick in Damsel, which is a brown eyeliner. And I actually use that almost every day because for daytime looks, I prefer to use brown eyeliner underneath when it doesn't make your eyes look so crazy and two, it's like more natural so it completes the eye look without looking like you're wearing heavy makeup. As far as the rules, all the information is down below as usual and this is international as almost all of the giveaways have been for the 10 for 10. As for the comment, my question to you is, do you wear makeup every day? Um, more recently, I've been doing no makeup makeup looks for work. I've gone two days in a row with zero eye makeup. It's on purpose. I hate it. I hate it. So much so that I like packed this on when I filmed this because I was like hating that I was going out without any eye makeup. I mean no eye makeup, no eyeliner, no mascara, no eyeshadow, 
no, no nothing because I'm getting LASIK done in less than two weeks. Actually, by the time this video goes up, it's going to be like a week. And so I'm not allowed to wear eye makeup for at least two weeks, which makes me so sad. How are you guys? Are you are you makeup addicts? Do you wear makeup every day? Are you a YouTuber? Like, do you guys love wearing makeup or do you just like wearing it? You have nothing to do with YouTube. You just enjoy watching videos and you have a session. Anyway, that is it for the comment. That is it for the video. I hope you guys like this tutorial. Thank you guys so much for watching. Of course, follow all the rules. Everything will be down below. Make sure to thumbs up for tutorials and for my short hair. I still got to figure out what I'm doing with it because it's totally new to me. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. This is Erica from Brains to Beauty. Hi guys, it's Erica from Brains to Beauty and today I have a really huge beauty haul. So I'm gonna try not to chit chat. I already tried to film this and it ended up being like super ridiculously long. So we're gonna start over. For things that are repurchases, I'll explain why I'm repurchasing them and for new stuff, uh, I'll try to go really quickly through it. So I got most of the stuff from Ulta. I did get stuff from Hot Look and I did get stuff from Target. The stuff from Hot Look I got a long time.